Well, in the heated dust of elections and poll campaign, there are lots of harsh words which are always exchanged. But they can always be placed for poll humour. That's exactly what the Prime Minister said. He was actually responding to one spoof uh, where it showed an animated version of the PM on a ramp. He's dancing and the Prime Minister said that poll humour, this is exactly what we should all be encouraging. But he also used a very interesting word and I would say that's a very powerful message when he used the word the dictator I hope doesn't arrest me. Why was he saying so? Because just yesterday itself there was yet another spoof of Mamata Banerjee and you saw the Bengal cybercrime as well as the Kolkata police issue a stern warning to the one who created that spoof saying that reveal your identity and we are going to initiate action against you. Again that particular animation video showed a Mamata Banerjee walking the ramp. Remember when she had announced all the the candidates for Lok Sabha from West Bengal, what she had done was that she had walked down that ramp in Kolkata and the entire candidates were also paraded along with her. Uh, that of course has not gone down well and the point which uh, the Prime Minister was making through humour and jest was that you know, he's the one who's always called a dictator. He's the one who's always called fascist by the opposition parties, saying that he doesn't have any tolerance for freedom of expression and speech. But look what has happened in Bengal. In Kolkata, this was a fun video which was put out and you had a Kolkata police issuing a stern warning. So he was trying to send a multiple uh, messages. One, of course, that chill pill, which Smithy Rani talked about to project himself as someone who's chilled out, who's not going to be affected by any kind of poll humour on his behalf. And the second is to try and call the bluff of the opposition leaders, certainly Mamata Banerjee, where she has often been accused of using uh, the police and other institutions in her favour and always to target her political opponents. In fact, in this fierce battle we are seeing between the BJP and the Trinamool Congress in West Bengal, that's something which the Bengal BJP always points about. The arbitrary use of force, misusing the state machinery and often using the state machinery in the case like Sundesh Kali to protect and shield the corrupt and those who are criminals. That's always been one point which has been raised against her. But in this poll humour, they have been, it's gone viral. There are lots of people who have been commenting on it. And, uh, you know, the opposition parties, of course, have take, begun to take barbs at the Prime Minister, saying that, you know, uh, this is not projecting the reality, that he's the one who shouts down shout, uh, and has put many opposition leaders behind bars only because he wants to silence them. But there's always a place for humour when it comes to campaign. It's hot and one certainly hopes that this kind of poll humour, taking the right spirit, can also, despite the political messaging coming in from the PM and the BJP, bring the temperatures down. Uh, there was a time, I remember, when politics and campaigning was all about humour. You take pot shots at your opponents, but it was always seen as jest. As they said, bura na mano, elections hai. All that seems to be a thing of past, especially given the kind of social media traction we did and we have been seeing and that's also one reason why we are seeing uh, uh, you know th this kind of attempt at poll humor and also to make a larger political point that he's been the one who's called the dictator but the asli dictator is actually his political opponent and in this case certainly Mamata Banerjee.